Hello viewers, in this video lecture, I will demonstrate you how to design a decade counter using IC7490. IC7490 is an asynchronous decade counter IC. Decade counter means it counts 10 different states from 0000 to 1001. The block diagram of IC7490 looks like this. You will find that there are two different sections. First is mod 2 section and second is mod 5 section. It comprises of four different flip flops. Flip flop A, flip flop B, flip flop C, flip flop D. The flip flop A can independently act as mod 2 counter which counts two different states from 0 to 1. In the same fashion, mod 5 can also act as one independent mod 5 counter and its output is generated on flip flop B, flip flop C, flip flop D that is QB, QC, QD pins. When I want to use it as a mod 10 counter, then I have to use them in combination. Means mod 2 as well as mod 5 are used at one time. When I want to use it as mod 10 counter, in that case, what I will do, I will connect the output of first flip flop that is QA pin as input of the modify counter means QA pin is connected to input B. So in that case mod 2 and mod 2 in combination this counter will act as a mod 10 counter and mod 10 counter gi will give its output on QA, QB, QC and QD pins. Now what are these pins R1, R2 they are also called as R01 and R02. These are the reset inputs. When they are connected to logic 1 signals, then the counter gets resetted to 0000. There are one more set of reset pins which are S1, S2. They are also called as R91 and R92 pins. These pins when connected to logic 1, the counter gets resetted to 9. 9 means 1001. In our case, I neither want to reset the counter to 0 nor I want to reset the counter to 1001 that is 9. So in my case I will connect all these 4 pins to the ground so that they will become inactive. This is the circuit diagram of IC7490 when I have used it as a decade counter. You can view that the clock pulses which are to be counted they are given to the clock A that is input A pin. As I have already told you that output of first mod 2 counter that is flip flop A is obtained on QA and that QA is connected to input of mod 5 counter that is input B or clock B. So by making this connection this flip flop uh, this uh, counter acts as a mod 10 counter. The 4 bit output is obtained on these 4 pins QA, QB, QC, QD. QD is the MSB while QA is the LSB. I have connected four LEDs so can I can observe the output on the LEDs in the forms of in the form of ones and zero. The IC is supplied with the power of plus five volt on pin number five and pin number ten is connected to ground. Apart from pin number ten, the R01 and R02 I I don't want to use them so I have un, uh, connected them to ground. Similarly. I don't want to reset the counter to 9 value so R91 and R92 these two pins are also connected to ground. Now let us go to the demonstrator kit where I am going to design or I am going to demonstrate you how to generate the. So this IC is inserted in the socket as it is a 14 pin IC P1 to P7 pins are pin number 1 to 7 and this pin which is named P18 is actually pin number 8, this is pin number 9, this is pin number 10, 11, 12, 13 and pin number 14 and according to that we will make the connection. Now let us take the help of the diagram. So first the pin number 5 is connected to plus 5 volt. So this pin number 5 is connected to plus 5 volt. The next is pin number 10. This pin number 10 is connected to ground. So pin number 10 through this black probe is connected to the ground. Pin number 2 and 3 reset to 0 pins that is R01 and R02 that is pin number 2 and 3. These two pins pin number 2 and 3 they are connected to switches 
and these switches are in downward position means logic zero is applied to them so it is as good as grounding th those pins you can one one another method is that you can connect these two probes to ground also if you want to permanently connect them to ground i have connected them to ground through the switches because it gives me the flexibility that when i want to reset the counter to zero i will make both the switches as high now the next set of pins is pin number 6 and 7 pin number 6 and 7 r91 and r92 when the counter is to be reset to value 9 that is 1001 then these pins are to be connected to logic 1 and when you have to perform normal counting sequence then these pins are connected to ground so as i want to per, uh, perform the normal counting sequence i will connect them to the ground through the switches so pin number 6 and 7 these are connected through these red probes to the switches and switches are kept in downward position so as good as they are grounded the next is pin number 11 which is the msb of the output that is qd it is connected to one of the leds so pin number 11 is connected to one of the led so this led indicates the value of qd next is qc that is pin number 8 it is connected to ground so this is pin number 8 it is connected to one of the leds that is indicating value of qc next is pin number 9 is connected to the led so pin number 9 through this red probe is connected to one of the leds and this led will indicate the value of qb similarly pin number 12 is connected to one of the leds so pin number 12 is this so through this red probe i have connected it to the one of the leds so this led will indicate the lsb of the count value and this leftmost led will indicate msb of the count value now one more connection is remaining that is i have to connect output of mod 2 to the input of mod 5 so that mod 2 and mod 5 in combination will work as a mod 10 counter so pin number 12 is to be connected to pin number 1 so here you can see that pin number 12 through this red uh, through this black probe is connected to pin number 1 and that's all about the connection part so what is remaining now now i have to apply the pulses the pulses which are to be counted to pin number 14 now from where i will generate the pulses so at bottom right section you will find that this is the pulsar section by pressing this switch one pulse is generated and this pin is to be connected to pin number 14 that is pin number 14 so through this red, red wire pin number 14 that is input clock a is connected to this pulsar section and by pressing this uh, clock signal i will apply the clock clock pulses one after another so that the count value which is uh, shown here or which is visible here gets incremented by one after every clock pulse now let us demonstrate it and for this purpose on i have shown you the truth table that initially the state of counter is 0 0 0 so all leds are in off condition when i press this uh, switch or when i apply one pulse then the value of counter gets incremented from 0 0 0 to 0 0 0 1 similarly after second pulse the value gets incremented to 0 0 1 0 which is equivalent to decimal 2 after third pulse the value is 0010 likewise it will go up to 9 after 9 pulse the value is 1001 which is equivalent to the 9 in decimal and uh, when i apply one more pulse that is 10 pulse it again resets to its original value that is 0000 so from 0 to 9 it will go through 10 different states that why it is called as a decade counter and one more thing i would like to tell you that decade counter has its output in the form of bcd that is four bit number which represents decimal numbers from 0 to 9 now let us practically demonstrate it you observe that the clock clock pulses are given from this bottom right uh, corner so when one clock pulse is applied the value becomes 
after second flocks it becomes 2 then 3 it is followed by 4 it is followed by 5 it is followed by 6 it is followed by 7 it is followed by 8 it is followed by 9 and then it resets to 0 0 0 0 so that's all about the decade counter using ic7490 thank you